Hello, it is March 2nd, 2022. I'm at the Savannah, Georgia, Southern Armstrong University campus, whatever it's called. Uh, this leads to that little plaza thingy. Here's where that sidewalk ends. And then right over here is an American olive plant. Doesn't really seem to be a tree. It's like maybe three feet tall and it is flowering and it's got some flower buds right now. Come on, focus. It's got tiny little white flowers. Let me zoom in. Tiny little white flowers. It's the ones with the lighter those are flower buds. And then there's spent flowers which might turn into fruit. an evergreen and it has opposite leaves as you can see on this one there's a little bee flying around let me okay I guess it's not coming over here they have opposite flowers that kind of grow in the style that mint does where it goes one direction and then the next and then the next but there's like no information about this plant anywhere online that I can find except that it exists so that's why I'm making this video. And they're just covered in, the leaves are covered in pine pollen, which is what those white dots are. Yeah. So this one has a bunch of tiny little flowers. And it's just like, it's a bunch of little short stems, maybe three feet tall. You can see them in there. And then there's also unrelated yellow jessamine or Carolina jasmine, which is growing on this sparkleberry, formerly known as Farkleberry, but everybody hated that name, so it's just called Sparkleberry now. Yeah, there's this blends in until it started flowering. It, it was just blending in perfectly with the sweet leaf, uh, which is that one right there. But the, well, I can't reach that plant. There's one over here. I'll grab a leaf to compare. Here is what the sweet leaf looks like. It's got like yellow stems and bigger flower clusters. I'm trying to clean this. This one's curly, but sweet leaves, sweet leaf leaves have a yellower stem that's like really bright yellow and then these ones are just kind of a uh, light green. I'm trying to get the pollen off so you can actually see the color difference. So sweet leaf is yellow, American almond is like just kind of a light green so it blends in. And the sweet leaf leaves also seem to be rounder, not that this is a good example because it's curly but it's more like a longer, rounder shape, and this is like a soft diamond with a narrower point. Let's see. They're both evergreen, and until this started flowering, I didn't even notice it at all because it was just really blending into the background. Uh, I do have a ruler. Uh, let's see. The centimeter side. So that's like half a, not even half a centimeter for the flowers. And yeah, let's see. Uh, the stems, same thing. Well, yeah, 
American olive, whose scientific name I just forgot. Uh, it's apparently this is also called devil wood, and I have no idea why. I was I think it used to be called Osmanthus americanus. That's what it used to be called, and then they changed the scientific name, and I forget what the new one is. So I'll just add that into the title of the video when I get home. So, yeah, I don't even know anything about this plant except that it exists. I know it'll produce olives. I don't know if they're poisonous or if they're edible. Because nobody else on the internet seems to know. So, I'll post this video and then I'll just come back later and see if there's any olives. I'm not going to eat them, because I don't know if they're poisonous or not, but I'll collect seeds. But once again, Georgia Southern Armstrong University. This is where the sidewalk ends. And there's like a piece of a car right there. So as long as that stays there, it'll mark the location. I don't know how it got there. But yeah, that's it. So bye-bye.